Hi, my name is Mark Hansen. I'm a T10 complete paraplegic and I'm here to talk about intermittent catheterization. You're less likely to grow infections. You're able to go out and wear shorts. Um, you can get nude with someone else and not have anything attached to you. Your, your options are a lot more open. I'll tell you a bit of a story. When I first started using intermittent catheters, um, I, saw, I saw the end of the catheter coming for me and I just thought, no mate, that's going up a one-way street. Like, let's, 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 let's scale that back a bit. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not something that you want to see and not something that you want to do, but it, using intermittent catheters has been the best solution for me. Why I think it's the best solution is that I don't like having a urine bag um, on my person, um, if I can avoid it, of course. Another thing that I like about using intermittent catheters is that if you are at a bar or you're out somewhere and you meet someone, then if things get a little bit intimate, then you, you can also avoid having that awkward explanation of why you have something connected to your genitals. I like going out in the summer. Um, I can wear shorts. I can go swimming. Um, I can go sit in the spa for a while and I'm not having any, any, devices, any devices attached to me. So it's um, using an intermittent catheter can give you a bit of dignity. If I'm going to go out for a whole day, I'll make sure that I pack um, a really good amount of catheters. Um, for my day, I would make sure that I would pack maybe 10 or so. Um, it depends what you drink and how often you're drinking. If you know that you are going to go out somewhere, it might be helpful to have an extra bag just in case. Um, and you can top up um, any extra supplies of catheters and hand gels or lubricant. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I carry a few of these in a little bum bag. Um, so just make, I guess the, the best tip I can give you is just make sure you pack enough for a, a big night out um, and you're keeping an eye out on how much fluid is going in versus how much fluid is going out. Even if they don't have an accessible bathroom, then I'll try and find a way to adapt to the environment and maybe I'll just go into a cubicle and not be able to close the door, but just go about my own business. I'm comparing this to having a urine bag connected to me, I am, I'm happy to do either, but um, I'd much prefer not having um, a urine bag connect on, on my person. Um, you never know who you might meet at a bar. I don't think sex is a problem when you are using intermittent catheters. Um, I just make sure that I go to the bathroom before I might have planned for some sexual activity um, and after. Um, not having a catheter hanging outside of me and having a urine bag has probably been a really positive outcome. Um, I don't think it's very intimate or romantic to have a catheter bag attached to you if you, if you can help it. So um, I'm, I'm all for using an IC. If I'm on a long haul flight, I may select um, the option of having um, a catheter with a bag attached to me. Um, there are no, no bathrooms on a, on a plane that I have come across to be wheelchair accessible. And when you're on a flight, you are, um, you're dependent on others for help. Um, so it would be, you would be dependent on um, stewardess for getting to and from the bathroom as they are in charge of the aisle chair, if they have an aisle chair on the flight. Um, but as soon as I'm off the plane, it comes out and I'm back to normal and I'm back to these again. 
and that just um, and that helps make sure that I'm not growing any infections inside of my bladder as well. Healthy habits for using a catheter, I believe that you should try and stay upright. Um, I try and do mine from the chair, so not doing it from bed um, is probably a good tip just to make sure that the gravity is is helping you evacuate all of the urine out of your bladder. I make sure that I'm drinking plenty of water. Um, normally I would have a drink bottle on me as, at all times or as much as I possibly can. Um, and I'm making sure to refill that bottle throughout the day and, and go through it. Getting an infection isn't fun, um, but um, you're less likely to get an infection if you use an intermittent catheter um, it's in, it's out, it's not staying in there, nothing's growing down there. Um, and I guess the best, the best way to avoid an infection is just to, to keep your fluids up and keep flushing. Okay, so for using IC, I have two choices. I'd like to use these telescopic catheters made by Coloplast. We have a, an entire male catheter in here and as you pull it out you can see the catheter. The thing that I like about the Coloplast catheter is that you can hold this end of the catheter and connect it wherever you like. I have a um, catheter extension tube so normally I will actually sit my catheter in my chair Pull it out, um, attach the extension tube, and then I haven't touched any of this area. And then I can go ahead and insert. After I've done, I'll put the catheter back in. And for easy disposal, put the lid back on. So that's ready to go in the bin. The best one that I like is this catheter, um, also made by Coloplast. I've only just recently discovered this in the last year. And it has, it's, a, it's very similar, it has a bag connected to it, so the bag's not going to fall off at any time soon. Um, you just screw this out and it's the same. So it's a self-lubricated catheter with a rigid end, so there's minimal touching. Of course, you incorporate your hand washing into, into your routine and everything just goes into the bag. And once you're finished, you can just screw it back on. It's a screw top and it's not going to leak. I find that this is also really helpful when you're trying to obtain a urine sample. Um, so you can get the most clean and sterile urine, sam urine sample. Um, by putting it all in into this bag, no spilling. Um, and then when you're ready, you can just tear off the end and then pour the urine into a cup. I've found these really helpful. Um, they're really good to keep in the glove box of the car. Um, I've left a couple in my parents' car and my best friend's car so that I know that I'm, if I'm ever in dire need, then I'm not going to panic and I, I have a solution waiting for me.